Woodwork Geek back here again. Another video this time on the relay attack boxes, the security boxes. So I got a lot of questions from the last um, video around um, what was the security. So for those that don't know, a relay attack is where the, the car has remote entry or remote start and the key basically transmits a Bluetooth signal um, which the car will then pick up to then enable remote entry or remote start. Thieves use this by kind of recording the signal from inside the house and then replaying it co close to the car to get entry. This video here is not about remaking the boxes. So um, the, the three boxes you saw on the beginning intro part, they were kind of made before this video. The concentration or the key part of this video is around how to secure the boxes themselves so it assumes that the box is already created so here's the first box i was doing and in essence i use the rfid shielding material so it's a material that's got woven metal into it so it creates a faraday cage um, from the fabric um, and here basically what i'm doing is i'm measuring out the dimensions needed to create that uh, inner um, fabric layer, which will then prevent the keys from transmitting outside the box. Um, the best way to do this I found was to double layer. So you can see me doing the first layer here. You just have to extrapolate that layer um, for the second one. Um, and in essence, what I do is I cut each end first um, so you'll see me cut a piece to width and then I fold over the corners and the bottom like I'm just doing here so that when they're in the box you can see there's a, an amount of fabric that overlaps the piece that then goes down the two long sides and on, on the bottom. Um, that is really important. So the key thing with this RFID shielding kind of fabric is to make sure there's no gaps that the signal can transmit out of. So the areas that you need to play the most focus to are where that fabric joins. So overlapping those joins and then where that box meets the lid. The best part around this is that actually you can kind of pre-cut all these things before you kind of glue them up. So you'll see here, I kind of take a bit of time to make sure all of those um, dimensions are correct and I'll cut the corners so that I can overlap um, those corners on the bottom so again at that corner point you don't get a gap and you can see here the three kind of tabs or over um, overlays on those corners so that it fits in as expected um, same for each side Once the two ends are done, like you just seen there, you then just take a long um, piece of fabric and make sure that it touches or overlaps the two end pieces so that it goes through. I use a spray adhesive here, so I just use a bit of cardboard to make sure I don't get any overspray and then put it on. Um, what I did find is that the spray adhesive um, can, if you put too much on, create almost like a conductive barrier so it will go through which is why I ended up double lining them. The first um, line in here I, I glue in with spray adhesive, the second line in I, I create loose and then I put a wooden box inside that you'll see me do on the other box in a second um, so that you end up with that perfect barrier. I do the lid in much the same kind of way. Um, overlap the fabric down through the step so that when the lid fits into the main box the fabric is actually overlapped so you don't get a weak spot for the signal to go through. Here I am starting on the second box um, so this is again it's kind of fold the material over um, cut it to shape. Um, you can see this box is a little different I didn't use splines on this box and the lid is a beautiful piece of panga panga timber. 
um, so it's got very distinctive grain pattern um, the other box has got paduke trim edges on so again a little bit different from the original box which was walnut and oak um, but the three boxes really contrast so the picture does, that you see at the beginning and the end of this video really do show kind of the full um, kind of range of possibilities using different timbers and different styles but in essence the, the same principle it's a rectangular box and in that rectangular box I then make um, the security kind of aspect to prevent the keys from transmitting their signal and therefore um, enabling relay attacks on cars um, this box here you can see I'm fitting the wooden insert so I did the same for the other box with the second layer just loosely wrapped round um, but it's, rather than show you the whole thing I just did one on each of the boxes um, so here I just cut pieces of Sapili um, to the right length this box here I use the Sapili to be the um, kind of lid fastener so it, it kind of is taller than the bottom half of the box so the top half of the box fits over the top so that again you get a overlap in terms of the fabric because the fabric goes all the way down the top piece and therefore overlaps the bottom piece to create that kind of um, shield if you do intend to make one of these boxes the key thing is really testing that it works as it should do um, so I've not included it here but in essence for each of these designs and each of these boxes what I do is I test them on a remote start car um, which is my car it's kind of I open the car put the keys in the box I then enter the car and if the car starts with the keys in the box and you know that that box isn't kind of stopping the transmission of that kind of signal from the key and therefore fouls um, I also then um, have a very kind neighbor who lets me test the box on a remote entry car just to make sure that just in case there's any difference in technology between um, the two things that it works for that as well and they are kind of different car types as well um, so here you can see just tidying up the edges and just making sure that that lip is fully covered so that it overlaps that box so that you get a full seal all the way around um, and here you can see the boxes in all their glory um, so the, the red is the pan uh, paduke on the left the middle one is the oak and walnut and the right hand side is the panga panga topped box all of them have pattern matched uh, grain or wrap around grain all the way through um, all boxes have the knots filled with epoxy resin and all boxes do prevent a car signal from being transmitted um, so a very successful piece here um, if you like this video as always subscribe give me some feedback um, good bad or any other um, hopefully this video has gone in a little bit more depth around the security side rather than the box making if you prefer me to do more in terms of the boxes and how to make the boxes give me some feedback and maybe i'll do another video that just concentrates on boxes um, thanks all for watching